All right, guys, here's part four. Um, if you haven't watched the past three parts, I'm, I'm sorry this is multi-parted. Um, I have a lot of claims, and th this is what I'm putting out there. And yes, I am putting out my issues in public um, because I feel like it needs to be talked about what the VA is doing. Um, I had left hip condition, left soldier condi sol shoulder condition, left ankle strain, um, right knee perform from perform patella femoral pain syndrome, right ankle sprain, and left knee perform patella femoral pain syndrome. This all started because, again, the military failed to train me correctly in how to work out. Again, I joined the Navy right out of high school. I was not a physical fitness person. I was... <laughs> No joke, 145 pounds when I joined the Navy. I was an inside kid. I didn't do anything. I just joined the Navy right outside of high school. There was nothing better to do. I grew up in the Deep South. The only thing you could either do was go get a trade, which sucked, or go to college, which most people couldn't afford, or play football, or go to the military. I chose military because that's the only thing I could think of recently that I could do. Um, and I did that for six, for five and a half years. Um, in the Navy, you have to do a PFA, mile and a half run, twice a year. If you don't stretch before and after you do your running, it causes strain on your body. For those of you who don't know, I didn't know this. There was no training to help me know this. I did not stretch before or after I did my run. And as a result, my body seized on me. My calf muscles became so tight that my kneecap started to shift as a result. I don't know if I'll use this as a knee or whatever, but the muscles that connect on the edge of your knee, when you move back and forth, it will shift if it's too tight, and your kneecap will shift as a result, which causes cartilage damage, which is what happened to my left knee. That's the one that started first. I was limping like crazy. I could barely walk. It was horrible. It was horrifying pain. Because of my limping and because I didn't stretch either of my legs, my right knee started having the same thing happen to it. The limping on both of my legs traveled up my back through my hip and hurt both of my ankles because of the extra pressure, which was compounded on being on a ship in the middle of the ocean for two years. Part five.